YouTube. What is up, y'all? Today, I have something brand new to show you guys. So today, we're going to be playing the Danganronpa Another Remake. So there's a team of people out there that was just like, you know what? We're tired of SRA 2 overshadowing Danganronpa Another. Everyone talks about Super Danganronpa Another 2, but no one talks about Danganronpa Another. So they decided, how about we remake the game? So this is going to be the better version of DRA. They do have the permission from Lanouche to do this this remake and of course they hit me up because they know that i really like danganronpa another and i cover all kinds of other fan gans here so i was like i would be glad to be one of the people to try out the new demo for the danganronpa another remake so here we are today we're going to be playing that shouts out to the team thank you for letting me play the demo today and shouts out to all of you guys for all the support before we jump into this video make sure to hit that like button so more people see this video i think a lot of people need to see more things about dra dra is like one of those games that like they said it's very overshadowed. So we need more people to understand that this game is dope. And I think a lot of people would love to see the remake of the game, right? Let's draw all the attention that we can on it. Why not? With all that being said, I think we can jump into the video now. So let's check out the Danganronpa Another Remake. Yeah! We are here, y'all. We are doing it again. Danganronpa Another. This is the remake. I'm super excited to be playing this. Shouts out to the team once again. I am honored to be able to play this for the first time. I'm, oh, yeah, that's cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit new game and start. See what this has to offer us. How do we get to this point? It was never supposed to be like this. This isn't supposed to be happening to us. Uh-oh, the dots are back. No. Hello? I guess I should give you a rundown on why I'm so stressed. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Yuki Maida. I'm just a regular person who was lucky to get invited to Host Peak Academy. What I mean by lucky to get invited, I mean that literally. I was invited to Host Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a weird talent. I don't even know how luck is considered a talent, but I'm getting sidetracked. Today was supposed to be my first day at Host Peak Academy, which is also called the School of Hope. The sprites look really good, by the way. But it's ironic that I came here for um, ultimate luck. After introductions, we all tried to enter the building, but we collectively fainted. Upon waking up, we all gathered to talk about the situation, only for IT to summon us to the gym. There we met IT. IT introduced itself as Monokuma. Monokuma hosted an entrance ceremony, quote unquote, but it was far from your average entrance ceremony. Monokuma has imprisoned us in this academy, and we must spend the rest of our lives here. He also proposed to us one way to escape, and that way is to murder a fellow classmate and get away with it. This is how our school life of hope actually began with pure unpredictable despair. After we heard what, uh, after what we heard in the gym, we decided to step back into reality and investigate this academy. We all went in separate directions. I decided to investigate the dormitory and checked inside my room. I didn't discover anything worthwhile. I ran into Ayame Hat Hatano, the ultimate sprinter when I exited my room. She told me to go to the dining hall to report what we found. I did just that and headed to the dining hall. There, we reported what we found and confirmed 100% that we are trapped in Hope's Peak Academy. Yikes. We did get off track and begin to fight. But Tsurugi Kinjo, the ultimate police officer, was able to calm us down and get us back on track. It was decided that Tsurugi is our leader and no one objected to it. We decided to disperse and rest to investigate later. Everything after this was calm. Of course, some small troubles arose, but for the past four days, we investigated with all we got and got nothing until that fourth day. Monokuba introduced us, uh, introduced a motive to us. It was a video that showed our families in grave danger. It was horrible. Anxiety, confusion, and despair arose. We all had one thought on our mind, that we needed to escape and get out of here. I myself was lost and losing it, but Sarugi and Akane Tyra, the ultimate maid, helped me. Oh God, Akane! <laughs> No matter what, I couldn't accept this and took a walk to clear my head. Only to see Haruhiko Kabashikawa, the ultimate pilot, and Satsuki Iranami, the ultimate clown, playing in the dorm's hallway. Haru broke two no nameplates by accident that belonged to me and Tsurugi. Monokuma gave Haru replacement nameplates, but I myself fixed it, since Haru had to use the bathroom. Once I finished, I just headed to bed. Once I woke up, got ready, and headed to the dining hall, I noticed something strange. Tsurugi, who's always the first one here, wasn't present. Oh, crap. 
I decided to knock on his door, but no answer. Anxiety grew inside me, and I decided to look for him. I decided to check the dorm side first, and when I seen inside the boys' bathroom, I saw a nightmare that I will never forget. What I saw was... Uh, the body of Sarugi Kinjo, the ultimate police officer. Oh, sh**. No! This is a demo. This actually doesn't happen in the actual game. This isn't the first case. Uh, Sarugi doesn't die, but I'm just letting you guys know. Hanging by rope. I screamed at the top of my lungs, attracting Ayame and Mitsuhiro. Iga, the ultimate soccer player. Oh god, not him. I hate him. I couldn't think. I couldn't say anything, but I was snapped back into the reality upon hearing the body discovery announcement. We all gathered around the bathroom and Monokuma told us what was happening. That one of us killed Sarugi. We were tasked to investigate the crime scene and prepare for the class trial. We were given something to help us find the culprit. The Monokuma file zero. While, uh, with this, we obtained a lot of information of this case. We looked around the dormitory and were able to find what looks to be the murder weapon. A bloody hammer. It was discovered in the laundry room. Also in that room, I also found a blank note and a mop that was strangely out of place. These two things don't seem important, so I'll just ignore them. I was also told by Ray that Sarugi and I's nameplates were switched. I decided to write that down as it might be important to the case. Now that brings us to the present. Sarugi Kinjo, the ultimate police officer. He was always trying to protect us and lead us to freedom. He was our leader, the one to unite us and make sure we all work together. He gave everything to help us when he was my... No, our friend. I wonder what he was thinking during his final moments. Maybe praying for our safety, for us to be safe and live on. I would love to talk to him again. He was there when I couldn't control my emotions because of the motive. But now, he's dead. Someone here took his life. So this is... Oh, this is cool. So this is exactly like the Danganronpa demo where it is kind of like a mock trial. So this isn't spoiling anything. If you haven't played DRA, it's not spoiling anything in the game. I can't look away. I must focus and give it all I got. I will find the person who killed Sarugi. Not for myself, but for everyone here. It's time to begin our deadly class trial. Let's go! Hey, what's this music? Hey, 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 oh. Hey, why this, this a bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is funky. Hey, why is this so good? I love this remix, dude. Okay, can I set any skills? It's a demo. Why kill the challenge? Ah, I see what you're doing there. Okay, okay, okay. Can I open my e-handbook? Yes, I can. Oh my God, it's all cool. Look at this. Everything is redone. It looks so freaking good. We can go into our presence. We don't have any, obviously. Uh, we can go into our truth bullets and we don't have any. Yeah, we do. We have a couple. So here we go. We have a few of these. So that's cool. All right, why don't we just play? Why not? It's a bomb though. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Okay. I like that though. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out the culprit, only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, then I'll punish everyone besides the blacken and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Look at the sprites! This looks so much better than SCRA 2. It does. Wow. Is the killer really one of us? The culprit that took Sarugi's life? Of course. What do you mean I have to be in a room with a disgusting, grimy killer? No way. I know that is difficult, but we have no choice but to expose the truth of this incident. And ultimately, reveal the person who did this. Hold on for a second. Can someone explain that? That picture of Sarugi. Wouldn't it be awful if he got left out just because he died? Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Yo, 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 dumbass. I got a really important question to shoot at you. So you better be prepared to muster up one mighty fine answer. 
This is really important, so prepare to answer, dumb Can there be accomplices in this case? That will determine the entire course of our discussion. Really important? Why, sure. I can tell you that. Now, accomplices in murder may exist. However, no matter how many accomplices there are, only the one who committed murder graduates. Noted. So any accomplice would grant no benefits. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> I love it. Ak Kakaru, it looks like he turned into someone else. That'll do for the preamble. Let's get started then. First up is the case summary. Now, let the debate begin. The class trial. When Monokuma first brought this up in the gym, I thought none of us would ever do something like this. But it actually happened. If we can't expose the black in this trial, we'll all be. No, I refuse to let that happen. I have to do this, not only for myself, but for everyone else here. To find out what really happened, and to reach the ultimate truth. I'll use everything I got. Yeah! Okay, it lets me save. That's cool. Looks like there was already a save, which I didn't save, so it must have been someone else. A non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Okay, I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the tutorial. The nonstop debate is a mini game where the students will share their arguments consecutively. Yay, 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 yay. This is my jam, though. All right, is it going to tell me how to play? No, yes, no, I guess not. He was a classmate and friend. Someone killed him early this morning. Mr. Kinjo is found in the men's lavatory hanging by his neck. But who had the time to do such a thing? That's a good question. Look, you see, I still can't believe someone was murdered here. Good point. How can I slow it down? Oh, okay, that shoots it. I don't want to do that. Okay, I can slow down with that button. Okay, cool. Died by suffocation. That's got to be it. Let's get out of here, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I check the... Oh, whoa. I think I broke the game. Oh, I'm already breaking the game. Oh, crap. Okay, wait. Can I check my truth bullets? Or no? Okay, I'm freaking breaking the game at this point. All right, I'm going to shoot the Monokuma file at what um, Teruya said. Uh, was it Teruya or is it someone else? Hold on. I think it's coming up. Yeah, it is Teruya. There we go. No, that's wrong. Let's go. Was that voice acting that I just heard? Excuse me? <laughs> I can't believe I'm already breaking the game, y'all. What am I doing? Oh, it scores me already? Cool. <laughs> I got a freaking B because, like, I was just shooting at the... I was trying to do the buttons. I couldn't do them. Would you like to save before returning to the trial? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would like to do that. That's not it, Teruya. Surugi didn't suffocate to death. Surugi didn't suffocate to death? Then what killed him? The Monokuma file. Haven't you gotten a chance to read it? It clearly states in it Tsurugi's actual cause of death. Look, it says here, the victim was Tsurugi Kinjo. The estimated time of death is around 6 a.m. The body was discovered hanging in the boys' bathroom of the student dormitory. The cause of death is a contusion on the occiput. There seems to have been excessive blood loss from the wound. Do you see it? The Monokuma file states that Tsurugi didn't die due to suffocation. Its real cause of death is the blow to the back of his head. Even though, I don't know if I can even trust anything from that old jerk Monokuma. What? Are you trying to say I'm unreliable? Oh, why are there still judgmental kids in this day and age? Open your ears! I will never spread lies when it comes to a class trial. I'm someone who believes that trials must be far. No, oh, fair. No matter what. It's okay, Mr. Otori. I can support the re reliability of the information. Everything said on the Monokuma file is basically correct. That, you have my word as a physician. So, if Tsurugi died from a blow to the back of his head, someone must have struck him from the back, right? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Uh, okay. He didn't kill himself. Someone else must have killed him. Then someone really murdered. Well, duh! Don't just label a suicide and call it a day just because you're not bothered to go through with the trial. Our lives are on the line. Let's not kill the mood with unnecessary remarks. Although it's already stated in the Monokuma file, there's something I'd like to add. Tsurugi's injury was very severe. The strike passed through his skull and made a large dent on his head. Wow! 
That's brutal. Taking this in info into account, he most likely died in an instantaneous death. What a tragic incident. This is something that should never have happened. We should speak about the topic at hand. Can't we put those useless remarks aside? Of course he had to have been struck with a blunt object. The injury on his head was very severe. You're referring to the murder weapon. <laughs> I just knew someone would bring that up around here. Now, why don't we all talk about the murder weapon the killer used to strike Sarugi's head? If Sarugi didn't kill himself, something else must have been used as a weapon. I think we should look more into that. The murder weapon that struck Sarugi's head. We need to uncover what was used. Oh, another non-stop debate. I don't know how to do these. Why every time I play a fan game that's an actual game, I never know how to play it? <laughs> I'm always so confused. The bloody hammer. We got it. There's only one bullet, so. The killer must have used a blunt weapon to kill him. Ah! <laughs> that's the weapon then, right? But what could it even be? His head was hit hard enough to create a dent on the skull. Yeah. What could cause an injury like that? Maybe a heavy polar bat? No, that's wrong. Oh no, I missed. Bam, like that. Ah! That's wrong! This is so cool. It's so HD. It feels great to play. I like it. It's not too hard, you know? <laughs> it's probably gonna be like blaze, blaze, blaze. Oh, I got an A. I still got an A. Okay, I'm doing all right, you see? I'm the knowledge is there. Right? My head. It's it's doing good right now, currently. Duh. We're just gonna keep going. We don't need to save. Ayame, that can't be the answer. Actually, I found this at the dormitory's garbage dump. Uh-oh. Could that be a... It's a hammer. The type of which you can simply hold with only one hand. Is that what was used to hit Tsurugi's head? But Tsurugi's a cop, ain't he? What are the chances he'd get taken down by a simple hammer? The fact it has blood on it alone proves that it was involved in this case for something at least. Also, the fact that it was found at the dump means someone was trying to get rid of it. How did you even find that at the dump? I, I agree with Mitsuga. Could a tiny hammer like that really kill the ultimate policeman? If he was caught by surprise, the answer would be yes. Do you want a demonstration, perhaps? Ah, uh, is she wrong? Is Ray wrong? No, no, thank you. I'm good. The size isn't of importance. The hammer is made of metal. If you use enough force and strike at the right angle, killing someone with just one blow is not entirely impossible. To put everything we have so far, the culprit took Tsurugi by surprise and struck him from behind them. Then hanged him. But isn't that strange? If the killer just wanted to kill Tsurugi, then what's the point in hanging him? Even if it was to hide what really killed him, the bruise and the bloodstains are still there. You would notice. That's a murder immediately. You would? Before Yuki told us, I was sure Tsurugi took his own life. It doesn't surprise me, considering your brains are as minuscule as those of an inbred rat. <laughs> Yo, Ray is going in right now. Let's slow down. Mr. Kinjo is our leader. Him as a person won't be someone you'd expect to have hanged himself. The scene looked very abnormal for it to be ruled as a suicide anyways. Very abnormal? Yeah, she's right. The suicide looked kind of different from your average suicide. The reason for its abnormal look is because... There was a bruise on his head. Tsurugi wasn't hanging in the air. Was there a bruise on his head? I don't remember. I don't remember that. I guess I'm just gonna have to go with this one. Okay, that's it. Kanata, are you saying that the body looked abnormal because Tsurugi wasn't hanging in the air, even though the rope was tied on him? Ah, yes, that is correct. Don't you think so? Oh, I got zero ideas about all this. Incompetent. Can your brain really not wrap its head around the concept of someone succumbing to death via hanging? Most times they tie a rope onto an object in the air, standing on top of a chair or a similar object and remove it while they dangle from the rope. Because of the lack of support in their lower body, they hang limp and are choked to death by gravity. Come on, Teruya, everybody should know that, right? Oh, I get it. If Tsurugi committed suicide, his body would have to be hanging down in the air like Ray said. But Tsurugi's body was down on the floor even with the rope hanging around his neck. This must be the point. It sure is weird. Why did the culprit hang Surugi's body then? Oh my, it's quite basic, isn't it? Out of the possible conclusions, there remain just two. Either the culprit had a reason, or they are downright idiotic. 
Idiotic. Wait, that means dumb, right? So Haru's the culprit? Hey, she said that the culprit is stupid. Not that a stupid person is the culprit. He didn't deny the stupid part. <laughs> he did it. Anyway, there's no way the culprit hanged him without thinking. There has to be a reason. Any clue what that reason is? All of you are seriously brain dead. The culprit shall be uncovered if you bother to discuss it. Okay, Ray is super mean. I forgot how mean she is. Huh. Is there? There is no need to repeat that. Revealing the identity of the culprit is the ultimate objective of this trial, after all. So let's discuss about the culprit, like Ray said. But just who is the culprit? I don't want to start doubting everyone. Me neither. How could there be a murder among us? I can't even imagine who. Duh. Haven't we already narrowed it down to half already? What the heck? What makes you say that? Come on, guys. Don't make the pretty girls do all your dirty work. Tsurugi's body was found in the boys' bathroom. Uh-oh, not the bathroom. <laughs> and hanged by a rope. Obviously, it's got to be one of the guys. What the heck? Ooh, she has a point, you know. Of course I do. My bets are on Haruhiko. That fashion sense is absolutely horrendous, for sure. Or it's that or tree, boy. Hey, what's wrong with my clothes? It's tree boy. Oh, it's really is that tree boy. He's so cute. Haru's the killer. Of course not. Why the hell would I commit murder? Sorry for pointing out the two idiots in the room. You're one to talk. I ain't seen you say sh** this entire trial. Staying silent so you can pass the blame, eh? Bet you've been working with that dark-eyed girl plotting against us. But Mr. Higa, Miss Tamori, please stop fighting. There's only one culprit. Monokuma said accomplices have no merit. Blaming Miss Karakawa like that is unfair. Hell no. I ain't shutting up until I find out what this pink-haired punk's problem is. Oh, stop overreacting. Now that just makes you the suspicious one. Do you want to confess something? Shut your mouth. I'm used to bad press, but this is totally out of order. Accusing the guys of murder just because the body was in the guy's bathroom? It's not like anything was stopping you from walking in there yourself and killing him. Uh, Mitch, you're acting a little out of character. Aren't you usually all about ignoring the haters? Well, I guess his mask slipped. Quit your pathetic blabbering. Get back to the topic at hand. So, Monokuma, I presume I am correct, but isn't it impossible for a woman to enter the men's restroom? This place has strict uh, restrictions against it. Is this true? Bingo! A woman entering the men's restroom is considered a form of indecency and will be punished by a shower of bullets from the machine guns. The same goes for the opposite case. Oh, I guess we got our answer there. This applies to not only the restrooms, but also the locker rooms and bathhouse that will be unlocked soon. Let's bear that in mind. It's true. Monokuma warned us when we first found the body, remember? I told you. It's impossible for one of the girls to have killed Tsurugi. Whatever. If Kazuna's theory is correct, that means that the culprit is either myself, Yuki, Teruya, Kakaru, Haruhiko, or Mitsuhiro. There's no way I'm the culprit. Me neither. If I were to kill him, I would just stab him and, and, and run. But man, we've reached a dead end. I've got no clue who it'd be. Unless... Yuki, I want to ask you something. Me? What did I do? Me? What is it? Surely you know, last night with Haru and the clown girl. Last night with Haruhiko and Satsuki, what happened? Okay, I got my truth bullets now. Oh, they swapped the nameplates. Oh, yeah. Good point, good point, good point, good point. I got it. That's right. Haruhiko broke the nameplates last night. Arahiko, did you do that to confuse us? No, no. You've got it all wrong, babe. It's Yuki you should be suspicious of right now. Me? Please don't call me that. Wait, Yuki? What? That's right. I asked Yuki to fix the main plates for me whilst I chased after Satsuki. Then guess who the two name plates belong to? Yuki himself and the victim, Tsurugi. He could have easily swapped them, making Tsurugi confused and walking right into Yuki's trap. I won't deny its possibility, but isn't it gonna isn't it going a little too far out of the scene? You really think someone like Yuki could drag Sarugi's body all the way over to the restroom, let alone carry out that plan? I agree. Hey, if you're gonna agree with me, put a little pep into it. You're whispering like a creepy nun. Sorry, Yuki, it's not looking good for you. 
Oh, wait, no, I didn't do anything. So Yuki's the culprit, huh? Knew it. Ah, man up, Yuki. Tell him why you can't be the culprit. Yuki, I don't want to accuse you, please. Ugh. All right, Mitsuka, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove why I'm not the culprit. I love this, guys. This is this is amazing. It feels so good. It's smooth. It's running at like 60 FPS. It just, it, ugh, this is a good remake. A hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Last time I said absolutely, and it didn't give me a tutorial. So you guys didn't see it though, because I cut it out, but I don't know what happened there. Hangman's Gambit is a minigame where letters appear on your screen at random locations. and every Hangman's Gambit, a specific word would be needed to be spelled out. Some Hangman Gambits would have been, or would have some letters making up the word revealed for you already. It's up to you to aim with the arrow keys and shoot at the letters with the enter Z space key. Enter Z or space key. Okay. Shooting at the wrong letter will result in a deduction to the influence gauge, so proceed with that in mind. Limit to the nonstop date debate you can have a concentration gauge and can enter concentration mode by pressing the x key okay that's perfect in concentration mode letters will move at a slower rate giving you time to aim and shoot being in concentration mode will deplete your concentration gauge but will regenerate over time out of concentration mode that being said have fun okay cool i hope it loads i hope the game didn't crash on me because that would kind of suck where's the game game where are you i think the game broke I think the game broke on me. Okay, guys, so we're back. I had to update the game. I had to get like a whole nother build. And apparently now it's not a hangman's gamut. It's a terminate talk shooting. Okay, so we're about to do this. I need to learn how to do this, of course. So I'm going to say yes. I want to know. Okay. Terminate talk shooting is a mini game where you'll need to fire at a fellow student of yours arguments. Arguments will appear at a selected spots on the screen. It's up to you to navigate with the arrow keys and fire at a statement with the enter Z or space key. Okay. I'm gonna use the space key. Missing one of these statements will result in a deduction to the influence gauge, so keep that in mind. Like the other mini games in the turn and terminate talk shooting mini game, both you and your opponent both have a concentration gauge. Once your opponent's logic gauge is full, at random times they will activate negative time. When that happens, your speed will drastically decrease, making it difficult to reach one of your opponent's statements. When you press X when your logic gauge is full, you will enter fever time. When that happens, your speed will increase. When both negative time and fever time are active. The reticule will turn blue, but don't worry. It just balances out the speed. Okay. That being said, have fun. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's see how this works. Hold up. Hold up. This is, I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. We're doing good. We're doing really good. Oh, there's one right here. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. I think we're good. Nice. Foul. Tempo's up. Uh-oh. Tempo's up. Let's get it. Let's go. This is kind of cool, y'all. And it's hd too. I'm loving this. This is dope. This is really dope. Oh, 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 oh. How do I move faster? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm, I'm losing now. Okay, I got him. We just gotta beat Mitch. I don't like Mitch, so... God, I feel like I have to concentrate during this. Oh my god. This is hard. Oh, crap. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh my God. Time. Oh, oh my God. What? No, don't die. Don't die. Where's my cursor? Where'd my cursor go? What? I will never give up. What the freak? My cursor just like left the screen. Now I hear the game playing and what? What happened? Hey, bro, I broke the game again. <laughs> I keep breaking the freaking game. Come on, baby. Oh, we're so close, guys. Guys, we're so close. The tempo's so fast, though. I don't have any meter. I don't have any freaking meter. 
It broke on me again. Oh my God. I hope I beat this. I hope I beat this. This might be the run, baby. Okay. Time. Wait, how do I do that? What? And my cursor's gone now. Wait, what? Of death. This should prove it. Okay. Whoa. That was really freaking hard to do. That was really hard to finally beat. Sheesh. I almost lost that mini game. I'm deaf. Yeah, I did poor. I did poor. I'll take the L on that. I'll take the mediocre. The freaking controls were not with me on that one. They were not. I will say though, using the mouse and clicking, spamming the click was, it was the winner. It was the winner there. Like it definitely helped me a lot more. That's where you're wrong, Mitsuga. Everyone check the time of death in the Monokuma file again. Yuki's right. The Monokuma file says the time of death was at 6 a.m. What does that have to do with anything? The, you imbecile. If the dense footballer was correct, that would imply useless kept Sarugi hoisted up in his room. Unconscious for the entire night before dealing the final blow. Well, wouldn't you look tired if you stayed up all night? Preventing Sarugi from waking up? Also, if you remember correctly, there was only one wound found on the body. It'd have been impossible for Yuki to keep Sarugi unconscious unless he kept, or unless he killed him right there. So we're back to square one. Sorry, Yuki. No, it's my fault for getting the nameplates wrong. When we get out of here, you can have one of my groupies. Free of charge, of course. What? I don't want none of your groupies, you weirdo. I appreciate it, but that's not exactly my kind of thing. We've come to a standstill. Come on, guys, we need to discuss more. But where do we go from here? The fact all of you remain this incompetent baffles me. Whatever do you mean? I was originally going to just see how this played out, but obviously you monkeys can't do anything without my help. Well, will, will you tell us then? No can do. I think it's rather amusing seeing all of you scatterbrained like this. What? You did that whole speech and you're not even gonna tell us? Tatsuki thinks you're the real monkey here. Ooh! Are you trying to instigate a fight, you lopsided jester? No, 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 please don't hurt Satsuki. Antics aside, I think we should try to figure out what Ray was getting at. Why not let me give you a hint? He carried it even after his timely demise. Something that was on Tsurugi when he died. I need to think back to the investigation. You talking about the gun? It's probably the gun, right? Okay, so we're gonna do Hangman's Gambit. Let's learn about it. It's a mini game where letters appear on your screen at random locations. Okay. And every hangman's gambit, a specific word would be needed to be spelled out. Some police gambits are some police gambits. Some hangman gambits would have been, would have some letters making up the word revealed for you already. It's up to you to aim with the arrow keys and shoot at the letters with the enter Z or space key. Shooting at the letter will result in a deduction to the influence gauge. So proceed with that in mind. Similar to the non-stop debate. Okay. So we do have a concentration gauge and we can enter concentration mode with the X key. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds good to me. Let's have some fun. I'm probably gonna fail because I think I have like no health left. But it's okay. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, he had the note, right? That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need that E. I need that E. What the freak? I need that E. I'm trying to get it. I, I can't get the E. It's too precise. It wants me to be so precise. Okay, I might get it this time. I got it. I got it. Hey. Why is that song so good though? This, that's a bop. All the music in this is really good. All right, so we did that. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't that hard, I guess. <laughs> I got an A on that compared to, if y'all saw the, some of the scores that I got before this, You'd be like, what the freak is going on? But we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. You know, this is uh, this is a demo, okay? So there's gonna be a lot of bugs and such, and I have encountered quite a few bugs. Are you talking about the note that was inside Surugi's pocket? Precisely. Maybe you aren't so useless after all, monkey. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the note was pretty much blank though. Wrong again. Maybe if you inspected it more clearly, you would realize the note was not actually blank. Tsurugi was the least incompetent out of your, your lot. But what do you mean? The note was purposely imprinted. 
That's absolutely right. I'm glad I'm not the only sane person in this, in this room. If you rub your finger over the paper, you can feel faint imprints on the paper. What does that mean? I'm tired of doing all the work. So somebody else explain it for me. Hmm. Hmm. A paper airplane? What the freak, Satsuki? Wait, I think I've got it. I remember someone once taught me something similar to this. If you write something on a notebook, it imprints the contents onto the few pages below. Like how you can always tell the type of bullet shot when checking the impact it leaves? That's an odd way of putting it, but if it helps you understand, sure. So if we use this and sketch over the paper lightly, the words will be revealed. Does it reveal who did it? Not exactly, but it's a page from Sarugi's diary he was apparently keeping on what's going on in the day. I'm not a kindergarten teacher, so I won't read it out for you. Read it yourself. Me? Why do I have to do everything? Jeez. Okay, everyone, listen up. Day triple X. We've been locked here for a few days now and the tension is beginning to rise. The motivation videos is making the group as a whole tense. If this carries on, I may have to take drastic measures. Blah, blah. Let's get to the interesting stuff. Ah, here we go. I received an anonymous note through the door today. It claims somebody has found an escape route and had to go with them alone to the laundry room. I'm incredi incredibly suspicious of this note, but I have to take the risk and go there myself. If I don't return, I've left my complete diary inside my dorm mattress. Good luck. Sarugi, he really wished the best for us until the end, and ultimately sacrificed himself for even a slight chance of our escape. I just wish someone like that was with us until the end. Dang it! That's just stupid. How's that helping us in this situation? No offense. Seriously? Now who's the idiot? Clearly says here where Sarugi met the culprit. There's a major hit to who it could be. Fine then, Brainiac. Who else was in the laundry room at the time? Of course I know, dumb It was me. Of course it was Mitch, right? What? You're the culprit? No, that's not what I mean at all. I was just in the area at that time. Sh that didn't come out right. Ah! Oh, I was just over there trying to befriend Akane some more, but as usual, she wasn't having any of it. Our lives are on the line, and the saving grace is a pervert's testimony? Honestly, I'm almost, I almost forgot how much she hit me with that mop. Wait, a mop? No, it couldn't be. The one we found inside the boys' toilets covered with blood? Everyone, wait a second. What's up, Yuki? Mitsuga, did that mop have anything special on it? Anything special? Not that I remember. It was just a regular broom. I think it gave it, uh, I think I gave it a dent mark with my head, though. I have one hell of forehead for, I have one hell of forehead from all my headers I do. Wasn't the mop from back then? Yeah, I definitely remember it having some dent on it, but I thought that was just random. It couldn't be, could it? Hold it right there. That's as far as I can let you go. Because I mean, this is just a demo. Aww, is it gonna end right there? It's gonna end right there. Okay, my score is gonna be horrible, obviously, because, you know, I ran into some kinks while playing this, but I really like this demo. This was a fun demo. I mean, I did get a B. You guys saw that, right? I still got a B, even with all the kinks and all the bugs and such. I gotta be. Yeah, there was a couple times where like the game didn't load some of the mini games and such. So I had to like go back and like reload the game. And the terminate talk shooting was a little hard to do at times until I finally got it down. But other than that, it was amazing to see some really good sprites. Everything was in HD. It was in 60 FPS. Everything looks smooth and just beautiful. Very pretty. So if this is what's to come in the future for the remake, I am very excited for this indeed. Shout out to the team for letting me test this out. I loved being able to beta test the demo. I will let them know that I did run into a few bugs here and there, but other than that, yeah, it ran smooth. It ran perfect for me. I didn't have too many problems other than a couple of crashes and such like that. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Danganronpa, another the remake. That was just the demo. Hopefully we get the full thing in the future. I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to tell you guys. So go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you're new. And that's all I got to say. Bye guys. Deuces. Hope will never die.